65 of the fantasy basketball season on its way and so far this year it's flying by already but here's a few centers I would drop this week in fantasy leagues. The first one's Hassan Whiteside of the Sacramento Kings. Whiteside I mentioned a few weeks ago as a drop candidate and right now he's still owned in a bunch of leagues his Whiteside at 60% and this year he just hasn't done anything. A lot of games where they've barely played him and now he got back on the radar a little for this King team where he played in the three games after a lot of coach decisions DMPs for Whiteside but on the season he's just not getting it going. 6.4 points a game, 4.2 rebounds, 0.6 assists, a block a game, 50% from the line and 52% from the field. And now Whiteside, he's out with a hip strain. And he's a player, I know the Kings, they're probably looking to deal at the deadline or before that. But right now, he should be dropped in a majority of fantasy leagues. He's not getting much playing time. He's been inconsistent. And now with the injury, that's the icing on the cake. To get rid of him. The second center is DeMarcus Cousins. Of the Houston Rockets. Cousins I would have him in 14 team leagues. But 10 and 12 team leagues. It might be time to get rid of him. Cousins another guy where he's banged up here and there. And he had never made it through a full season. In the last few years. And Cousins on the year. And limited amount of games and stuff. 7.1 points a game. 6 rebounds. 1.6 assists. 72% from the foul line, but a putrid 34% from the field. So DeMarcus Cousins, we'll see what he can do. He's clear to play. He's coming back. But right now, he's just not producing for fantasy owners with low stat lines. Right now, he could just be a name at this point in fantasy basketball for a guy who used to do it. But the injury is catching up to him, and he's not putting up the stat lines. Cousins is owned in 53% of fantasy leagues. In shallow leagues, 8 to 10 team leagues, and most 12 team leagues, you drop him 14 and above and keep him. But if the struggles continue, he should be dropped in just about every fantasy league. And the third and final center, I would drop this week's Paul Millsap of the Denver Nuggets. Millsap, I think Father Time's catching up to him. His fantasy numbers just haven't been the same this season for Millsap. I know this Nugget team, they got a lot of options and good scorers led by Jamal Murray. And obviously Nikola Jokic, but Millsap on the season, his stats just they're mediocre at best. 10 points, 4.5 boards, 1.5 assists for Millsap, 72% from the field, 1.5 threes, and a pretty good 51% from the field. But Millsap, he's got a lot of flat games where he'll only give you 10 points, 4 rebounds with a 3. And I feel like you could find that on the waiver wire, that production and he's not going to play major minutes anymore for this Nugget team. He's playing about 20, 25 minutes per game is Millsap. So in deeper leagues, he's definitely worth a keep. But 10 team leagues and 12 team leagues, I wouldn't have Millsap on my roster unless there's really no one out there. So that's a few centers I would drop here in week five of the fantasy basketball season.